Hey everybody, it's Wendy. Welcome. I am so excited to be here with you today doing our Wow Wednesday video. And I am going to be featuring this stamp set for all the projects I'm going to show you. This is the Mary My Stamp Set. It is on sale for $12.75 if you buy the cling foam. So that is a huge bargain, $12.75 for this adorable stamp set. And of course I would be not doing my job if I didn't show you all the fabulous things you can make with it. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff I've already made. Here's a cute little guy that I used um, colored pencils on and just made him into a sweet little tag card type thing. Then I have this really cute set of four note cards that I am going to be giving away. I'm going to give these away to a lucky follower who goes to my blog post. This is the important part. You have to go to the blog post that has the photos of all this stuff. You have to pin one of the images to Pinterest and then comment on the blog post that you did that. And then I'll, you'll be entered to win this set of four cards. Okay, so here's the first one. And then there's this sweet little guy. And these are all colored with color pencils. And then I embossed the background here with the Falling Gently embossing folder. But they're all just a little bit different. Very sweet. And they come with envelopes. So these are fun, sweet Christmas cards. And then I made this one and I colored this one with Copic markers. I really like how this card turned out. Then I made this one. So just some really fun, pretty cards. You can see photos of all these on my blog post, which is linked below the video. Now this is my Wow Wednesday video. So if you're watching this, that means that you're one of my awesome email subscribers and you're getting to watch this video and that offer that I made for the free cards is only available to you guys. Don't forget that we have um, stamp sets that are discounted all the way to November 30th. So this is one of them and like I said it's on sale for $12.75. So I also wanted to show you really quick the new stitched framelits. These came out last week and these are available now. And I'm going to cut one for you so you can kind of see what it looks like. So I have this cute little mouse that I've watercolored using watercolor pencils. And the watercolor pencils that I used are from Stampin' Up! It's a new product that's going to be coming. So now I just have to decide which one of these I want to use on my little mouse. I think I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to grab my Big Shot and put down a clear plate, let's make it face this way, and then layer down my project and my die. And I thought I brought my sticky adhesive stuff in here to hold that down, but I don't think I did, so we'll just use a post-it note because I have it handy. And I'm just going to kind of line them up the best I can. Sorry about my finger there. I've got a little, had a little mishap, have a little boo-boo there. So had to wear a Band-Aid. All right, that holds that in place. And now we're going to run this through so you guys can see these, how cool these stitched dies are. Um, they're very popular. They've been on the market with other companies for quite a while now. Um, so I was thrilled when I saw that Stampin' Up! released some, and these um, are going to be around for a while, I think, so I'm excited about that. Okay, look how cute. Can you see the stitching around the edges? I don't know if you can see. There you did it. You can see it pretty good there. It just, it's such a very tiny detail, but I'm telling you, it just makes such a huge difference in projects. So I'm pretty excited about that. There's squares. There's circles and there's ovals. Okay, so that's how those work. Pick some of those up while you get your Merry Mice uh, stamp set. And now let's make a card, shall we? All right, this is cut at eight and a half by five and a half. And normally it would be folded this way to make an A2 size card. So today I thought let's be different and do something fun and fold it the long way, the hot dog way. So it is scored at two and three quarters inches 
to make a two and a three quarter by eight and a half inch card. Now I'll probably have to make a special envelope to go with this card or just tuck it in a gift, but that's okay, I don't mind. All right, so we are going to use the stamp -a jig because I want to create a row of mice. And so to do that, I felt like I needed to use a stamp -a jig. I'm using our basic black archival ink, which I love. It stamps really, really nice. And so the way you use a stamp -a jig is you have this little clear piece that comes in the package. You have the little stamp positioner. You hold it like this. You place the clear block in the corner. You stamp straight down and straight up. And then you're gonna get your image stamped on this clear plastic. When you do that, you'll then be able to go along and stamp your images however you want them because you'll be able to line them up on the cardstock. So I'm gonna start out by stamping off of the page just a little bit so this little tail of lights won't quite be seen for this little mouse here. And I'm gonna hold it just like that because now I know that's where I want it to stamp. I'm gonna put my positioner in place and remove the plastic piece. I'm gonna ink up my block, my stamp, go into the place for my where my positioner goes, straight down and straight up, and look at that. I have perfect stamping. So I'm gonna do the same thing here, and I'm going to, let's see. I think what I'm gonna do, because I have this long strand of lights, and it would be like this mouse is stepping on it, but I don't want them this far apart. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take this and tear a little piece of my corner off here. And you know what, I'm actually gonna have to clean this first. I'm gonna clean off those lights. Those little lights that are just tailing behind there. All right, so that's pretty clean. And then I'm gonna cover it with post-it note tape, like that, so we're doing a little bit of masking. And then I'm gonna be able to ink up my image. First, let's get our, I want these guys lined up again. And then I gotta remove my little post-it note paper. Straight down, straight up. And I do have a little bit of a light right there. That's totally fine, I can fix that. I'll use a Sharpie or uh, some other little marker to fix that. Now I'm gonna mask off again this little area here when I do my inking. And we're gonna go for one more row of mice. Again, trying to just keep them all straight in a line. And it's like they're just marching right off the card is my goal. That's how I want it to look. I'm gonna remove my little masking cheater thing and straight down and straight up. You can see I got a little bit on my workspace there because I did not take the time to put a piece of paper there. That's okay, it wipes right up. All right, so what I have now is a super cute row of little mice just marching along, having a good time. And they just look like they're getting ready to have some serious fun decorating for Christmas. So I thought the perfect pairing for this would be to put down a silver strip, like they're walking across a silver floor. And then I've got this really cute sentiment, and I'll show you that in just a second. Let's get this put down first. I'm gonna use my fine tip glue pen. And I'm just gonna go along. Uh, 
got it there. And then I put it down on the card. And this is cut at a quarter of an inch by eight and a half. And it just lays down perfectly. All right, and then I'm going to add this little sentiment. I cut this out of some banner framelits, which I did not bring in here with me. I thought I did, but I didn't. And um, they're the banner bunches of banners framelits in the catalog. And I just heat embossed in white um, heat emboss powder this sentiment, it's time to deck the halls. Now before I do this and put that down, I really want to color in my mice because I had not decided if I wanted them to just stay black and white or if I wanted to color them. I'm going to use my Prisma colored pencils. This is the 48 set and I just love coloring. So this is such an opportunity for me to just get to sit and color and kind of feel um, guilt free about coloring. I don't that's the best way I can describe it. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I would feel guilty about coloring, but you know, as a mom, you get busy and it's like you just feel guilty if you do anything self-indulgent sometimes. So this is definitely something that is therapeutic to me. I love doing it. And so I'm excited to be able to just sit and color now I'm not going to color all of these because we would be here all day long, but I thought that I would color one or two and then of course you can just see the photos um, after I'm done here uh, on doing, let's see, who else do I want to be in red? We'll have this, we'll have this little gal have a red bow. So some tips on colored pencils um, that I have learned is when you use colored pencils, you actually want to have a really light touch. You don't want to push very hard on the pencil because when you do, what will happen is it um, kind of creates a waxy buildup over the top of where you've colored. And when that happens, it kind of makes it so that you can't add colors to what you've already colored. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because I want to show you what I'm talking about. So for this little gal here, for example, um, I could take kind of a different tone of red here and just very lightly go in and add some shading to her. And the colors will actually blend. Uh, I had no idea that you could blend colored pencils until I started watching Sandy Allnock's videos and she is just the master of coloring. And so look, you get this really kind of beautiful extra color happening. And I'm not pushing very hard at all, but you can see I'm getting kind of some shading going on and the two colors are blending very nicely together. If you push too hard though, you'll get this waxy buildup and then it will not allow your pencils to blend. So that's my advice on that. Okay, let's color this little sweet mouse in because she's just so adorable. And my mice are gonna be different colors because we're different colors. They're gonna be the mice rainbow, just like we're the human rainbow. That's another that's another Sandy Allnock reference, I have to admit. Um, I just love how she teaches to color lots of different nationalities um, because we tend to only color in whatever nationality we are or ethnicity. And so um, I've really learned a lot from her in how to color different nationalities. And I think that that's really neat. Okay, so I'm going to use... Um, kind of like a green, let's do like a Christmas green for her little skirt here. Because I want these mice to be very festive. Very festive. So cute. And then we could add a little bit of shading to her even. 
by going in with just a little bit of a little bit darker color down here and I'm just barely touching the pencil to the paper I know it probably doesn't look like that but that I really am barely touching it and then I can go back in with this color and go over the top and it just blends it beautifully and then we need to add a really light little pinky to her ear and I'm gonna make her feet kind of pinky because little mice have little pink feet and hands okay so I could just keep coloring and coloring and coloring but I know that would probably bore you to death uh, <laughs> So I'm going to stop here and you'll be able to see photos of this and photos of the other cards I've made. If you love this stamp set as much as I do, make sure you pick it up while it's still on sale. It's a great one to have in your collection and you'll be able to keep it forever and use it year after year to make all kinds of different cards. Thanks so much for stopping by today and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.